Some of the things uh, I often mention when I'm introducing poems is that when I'm writing poetry for children or working with them to write poetry, um, I like to focus on the use of words, the sounds of words, playing with words. If I'm writing r rhyme, and I don't always write rhyme, but if I am writing rhyme, uh, looking at part rhyme or para rhyme, um, playing, playing with the sounds, the rhythms, and everything like that. Um, but another factor are rules. Now then, with poetry, and I think more with poetry than with prose, uh, there is the freedom to break rules, to make up your own rules, in fact. Uh, that is quite um, a dangerous thing for some teachers to hear. I'll tell you a little story about that at the end when I've finished uh, recording the poem. Eel. To find a rhyme to describe an eel, I tried to rhyme with slithery. There were very few words, the best was dithery. So, after searching hithery, withery, I bent the rules and used squiggly jiggly. That, of course, led to words like wriggly. And that is how I can now reveal that the very best word to rhyme with eel is wriggly, hithery, slithery, dithery. Yeah, I know it doesn't rhyme, but I like it just the same. That's what makes writing poetry such an interesting game. Because words are a bit like eels. They can slither and slide around and help you find new ways to mix images, ideas and sound. Don't tell your teacher I told you, but if you know a rule, you can change it. Start with something you know, break it and then exchange it. Make sure you've got a good reason. But when all is said and done, writing poetry and playing with words is an enormous sense of fun. The anecdote. Uh, once I was talking to a year six class about poetry uh, and their young teacher, a brilliant young teacher called Amy, uh, she was standing at the side of the class watching me. And then she heard me say uh, what I've just said in that poem. The thing about poetry is that you can break rules if, you, if it helps you say what you want to say. And I saw her face fall. I mean to say it was an absolute picture. The reason for that, of course, was that this was term three of year six. And so she had spent a fair bit of time preparing her class for the rigours of the annual SAT exams. And then she heard me say, why not play with the rules and break them? Mm, I don't think she was too impressed at that moment. <laughs>